Byron, you're only 24, but could you look back to mid-December and think that maybe your hockey career might have been at a crossroads as, as you approach things professionally? Yeah, for sure. I mean, going into that year, it was kind of frustrating not knowing all summer what, it, what was going to happen. Had a few offers, and, and I ended up just wanting to trust my game and just take an ECHL contract so I could really have a stab at any different team. And I mean, uh, the start of the year was great, starting off in San Antonio, and then when I got sent down, I guess it was a little bit of a setback, but um, just didn't want to let it affect me, wanted to play the best year I could have. And you get a chance to come here and credit the coaching staff. They've put you in a position to succeed here, given the line mates you've been able to play with. Oh, for sure, and that's one thing when I came up, they said they were gonna do is that I was gonna play. When, when I'm talking to Benny, he just said, you're gonna get a lot of minutes here, you're gonna get to play that offensive game that, that I was playing in Cincinnati and that I had played in the past in junior. And so uh, I think coming in, my mindset was just to, to give it everything I had, and it was, it was a lot more comfortable knowing that they wanted me to be a, an offensive player, not having to play a fourth line role. Six degrees of separation describes the world of hockey. You mentioned Benny. For the people at home, that's Ben Simon. How important was your relationship with him in Cincinnati and getting you here to the Marley organization? Yeah, it was great. And it was even great before that uh, in the fact of me, when I got sent down from Rockford my last year, um, that I got to go to Cincinnati where he was. He, uh, they called him and asked if they would take me because they wanted me to go to a, a contending team. And, and that, I think, was the start of something big because then we came, I went down there, played well for him, earned my spot with him, and uh, it just kind of took off from there. You could eventually become the second Winkler Manitoba resident to play for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Eddie Belfour, of course, is the first. How much of a role model was he growing up uh, as you were a young man? Of course, he was an established veteran in the National Hockey League. Yeah, it was, it was cool. I mean, I don't really remember watching him with the Flyers or anything like that. I don't know if he was still there when I was even born. I'm not sure. but. Um, it's definitely big. I mean, his name's all around town. It's, it's kind of the symbol of the arena. And, and actually, I got the, the pleasure of knowing his son, Dane Belfour. Uh, when he played for the Flyers, he played with my brother in Winkler. And, and so he would come over to our house all the time, and they, were, they, were, they let me hang out with them, which was pretty cool. And, and uh, he's a great guy, too. As the youngest of three brothers, how competitive were those roller hockey games in your parents' basement? Uh, yeah, there was some, uh, some tears and some bloodshed, for sure. Um, <laughs> I remember one, one time back when I had uh, braces on, me and my brother got in a bit of a fight and, and uh, he gave me a good one right to the teeth and I ran upstairs probably crying because I was a lot younger then. And, and uh, yeah, it just it got heated for sure, but it was, it was nice having uh, three boys that we could have one goalie and then just play one on one. Did you guys actually wax the floors down there? Uh, yes, we did actually. We, that was back in our old house. We uh, waxed the whole rug floor with that Pero wax, cooking wax. It was, uh, made it a lot more like ice for sure. You had a chance to play for Canada at the World Under 18s in uh, 2009. Uh, you got a chance to play with Maple Leaf Peter Holland. How valuable experience was that? Oh, it was great. Um, There's a lot of lot of NHL players that I played with. Joey Hishin, uh, um, Brett Connolly, uh, Curtis Hamilton's played a bit and with uh, the Oilers too. And those two guys were my line mates and I think we connected uh, greatly. We had a lot of success there and uh, it was a de definitely an awesome eye-opening experience, especially playing Two hours from my hometown was, was really cool because we had fans. I had fans come out every night, probably 20 to 30 people every night. One of your attributes uh, growing up was being able to solve a Rubik's Cube in under 90 seconds. Is that true and can you still do it? Uh, I don't know if I can still do it in 90 seconds, but I definitely can still solve it probably under, I would say under three minutes for sure.